The people of Brussels are very proud of this brewery's beers. It's beer o'clock and from Brasserie de la Seine in Brussels we have a bottle of their Jamba de Boss right a Belgium Revolution Triple coming in at 8% ABV so let's tell you about about this brewery um Brasserie de la Seine well basically um they started in 2002 um and they were first brewing beer in a squat in Brussels, believe it or not. Um, all their beers are 100% from Brussels. Um, you know, they don't like get other breweries to brew the beer and ship it back. It's all made in their Brussels brewery. If you look on their website, it looks quite a big brewery they've got now. You know, um, they pride themselves on 100% Brussels. The, the people that run it were born in Brussels, they love Brussels, Brussels is their passion and they're brewing this beer and the people of Brussels uh, love this beer. Um, everyone I've had so far has been really really good from uh, Brasserie de la Seine I must admit and this one here is the Jambra de Bos, I think I'm saying it right, um, Belgian Revolution Triple so let's talk about the Belgium Revolution. The Belgium Resolution, uh, Revolution, not Resolution, Revolution, right? Basically, went from the 25th of August, 1830, to the 21st of July, 1831. And it was basically a revolution which um, split Belgium from the Netherlands because back in the day, believe it or not, um, Belgium was in the Netherlands and the, the people revolted, they had the revolution and that's how Belgium become uh, what it is today. Um, 21st of July is, is a big day in Belgium history, it's, it's their, what they call their Independence Day. I've, I've actually been in Belgium on Independence Day and whoa, what parties they throw. I was in I was in Malmody of all places on on uh, Independence Day and whoa what a party, what a party. Uh, you know, it's absolutely fantastic what, what the Belgian people they really, really celebrate it, you know, um they love it. Independence Day the twenty first of July. If you ever get a chance to be in Belgium on the twenty first of July, um Please, please, you know, do it because it's an experience. It is a an experience, and I know there's Belgian people who watch this channel, and yeah, it's an experience. I've been there. I've enjoyed it. It's absolutely fantastic. So, without further ado, let's cr let's crack this beer open and let's give it a review. As you know, I love a triple. It's my favourite style of beer. So I'm really oh, I have high hopes of this one. There we go. First impressions, it's golden, it's cloudy, it's got a three finger, um, tight white foam head. Looks like a triple to me. Let's get the aromas. It's very floral, which I'd, I'd always expect in a triple. There's some pepperiness, some nutmeg. There's a candied sugar um, yeast. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of pear from it. Floral pear. Pepperiness, 
that's what I'm getting from this, this beer. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. First thing on a sip of this, this beer is some triples can be a little aggressive. You know, I look at like a, a triple caramel. Well, on that first sip, it's quite an, an aggressive sort of beer. Whereas this isn't. It sort of took me back a bit. I wasn't expecting a triple to sort of be so soft, to be honest. Let's dive in and have a few more sips. It's hoppy, it's spicy, it's bitter at the back end. This is a deceiving beer. This is 8%. It's drinking like it's 5%. This is seriously, seriously dangerous, this beer. This is a beer that you could, without knowing the ABV, you could you could, you could knock back a load of these, walk out of the pub and fall flat on your face if you're not careful. Um, the alcohol content is really, really cleverly disguised in this. This is a treacherous drink. Probably one of the, the, the least aggressive triples I've ever had. I'm going to make a bold, bold statement on this beer. And this is a massive, massive bold statement. Because of its softness, this is so soft. And so, if this beer was 10.5%, 11%, right? It would give Degar Triple a run for its money. It seriously would. It's got all that smoothness and um, you know what makes Degar so good is it's such a drinkable beer. It's creamy. It's so drinkable. I can't compare this to Degar at the moment because this is an 8%. And Degar is depending on what batch comes out, ten and a half to eleven percent. If they could raise the ABV of this beer and put it on a level playing field with Degar, I think Degar's got a contender for best triple in the world because I think Degar is the best triple in the world, followed by um, you know Westmail triple, and then probably Pader. Um, this. This has all the makings, it could be up there in that top three. This could definitely be up there in the top three. And if they up the ABV, this could definitely, definitely rival Degar. No ifs or buts about it. It's holding the head well, it's it's delicate, it, it, it's just easy drinking. If anyone's ever been in Degar, they know, and had Degar, it's such an easy drinking beer. Um, 
and probably why they only let you have three glasses of it when you're in there you know what I mean well what makes me laugh in Degas is they've only let you have three glasses of Degas but after that you can have anything else off the menu so it's nothing to do with the ABV the alcohol content it obviously must be you know how much of the stuff they've actually got because oh, after three glasses you right, you can't have another Degas but you could go and order a rush for 10 <laughs> you know what I mean um, but this, this is up there. My message to you, Brazil de la Seine, is bring out another one of these. Keep this, but bring out another one at 10 11% and stick it up against the gar. Because I tell you what, it will get people talking, it will get people thinking. Fantastic triple. This is a triple. This is this is a beer to try before you die. Put this on your bucket list. Put this on your bucket list. You got to get out of a bowl. I think I got it from uh, uh, beer on web. Philip beer on web. Um, but I'm sure you, if you want to pick up a bottle, you can get it in the UK somewhere. Um, they're exporting out. Um, look, a beer to try before you die. I absolutely enjoyed this. This is beautiful. This is really really good. This is. Um, a beer when I'm, I'm in Belgium in a couple of weeks um, I'll be looking out for in, in the boozers um, if I see it anywhere I will definitely be having a glass of it so look, do yourself a favour get hold of a bottle of this try it, see what you think leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.